Hello everybody and welcome to this new game release, Millennia. And we're jumping straight into this new game. We are starting with a random start bonus. We're selecting the United Kingdom, because that's where I'm from. And difficulty, I'm going to go for Apprentice. Actually, no, Novice. I know nothing. So I'm hoping it's going to teach me something. Um, so it's just initializing the timeline. Allocating resources, and we're jumping straight in. Okay, so we've started at Liverpool by the looks of it. Um, and goodness knows what we're supposed to do. So it looks like we've got two armies. I think. So, first army, second army, we're in Liverpool. Um, so, let's have a look. This historic site is where a nation was originally founded. Okay, so let's look at this. Um, homeland building, the historical site where a nation was originally founded. I was hoping to find some kind of tutorial here. So let's have a look at our land very quickly. We have wood here. We have animals. We have game in two different locations. Um, let's... I'm hoping, so if we do that, the work, logs, production, costs 12 improvement points. Now we don't have any improvement points. How do you get improvement points? Okay, let's choose research then. Um... Oh, this is interesting. Okay, so... What are our options? So that's plantation. This one. I don't want to click anything, just in case it selects them. Food stockpile. Okay, can we not just select farm? Okay, it looks there's a little bar there now. I'm thinking something's happening. That will help with. Okay, go to. Not farming, foraging, improvements, farm. Okay, unlocked by farming. Hey, okay. doesn't help. But that is now something new, is there? We've got farming, we've got culture. So, yeah, tribal at the moment. Can I click anything here? So, Scrubland, Liverpool. Gather. So, is that sending... Sending people to gather? Okay. 
So we've got, that's our maze. What's this one? Left click to view orders. Left click to toggle viewing economic production. Region influence. Okay. okay. So zoom in and zoom out. Am I doing anything there or not? What's this? Skip army. Ignore this army for one turn. Guard. Ignore this army. Okay, so we are turn one. So it looks like it's, it's almost like a board game type situation. And what's this here? Left click to se select next idol army. Alright, so let's toggle that off. Left click to view economic production. So skip this army. Next. Skip. Region idle. Left click to choose a unit, building, or project. Okay. So what is important? So levy workers converts all available production each turn generates 0 0.6 improvement points from three productions okay town center building where humans are trying out government for the first time okay dolman that gives us influence homeland Can I select something different? Okay, no, I can't. I wonder if I've done that right. So, end turn. We're about to find out. Okay, we've got something else going on now. So some locations on the map contain special goods like flax, marble, or wheat. These are marked with an icon for goods. When goods are in your territory, you can build improvements that gather them. Each good gives certain resources for your trouble. These are valuable. You will want to plan to expand your borders or settle new regions so that you can take advantage of special goods. Not all goods are visible from the start. Okay. So. Okay, so this is... This has gone down, so it looks like each turn you take, something will happen. Um, can I... Yeah, so we still don't have enough of these. Choose an improvement build. I just hope I'm doing something right. So what's this again? Guard. Ignore this army until guard is cancelled or army is fully healed. I don't know the difference. Okay, landmarks. 
as you scout, keep an eye out for landmarks. Landmarks are special locations such as very tall mountains, dense jungles and majestic canyons. Move a scout to the next undiscovered landmark and use the scout's discover landmark unit action to, ga to gain one time bonus. Landmarks already discovered by other nations cannot be discovered. For now, you can only discover landmarks later. You will be able to mount multi-turn expeditions for greater rewards. Okay, so this has now gone four and two. Government is up to four, which is interesting. Okay, if I just have a look at this, that's still saying six. And that is still saying six. Um, at the moment, we've still got... Is that three? So three plus one in blue, which again, I'm not sure what that is. I'm going to keep going with this because if you see, that looks like something's going to happen in one turn. Let's end the turn. Tribal government. Governments offer ideals that can be purchased for, uh, sorry, purchased to improve your nation. Currently, you have enough government domain XP to purchase a tribal government ideal, such as tribal farming. To see all of the ideals offered by the tribal government, select the tribal button on the left under government. Well, you can afford a tribal ideal right now. If this is your first playthrough, it may be smarter to save your government XP for a settler. Okay, so we'll take their advice and not do that. It is flashing up with two, so... Raise tribal army, tribal farming. It did say to wait. So, we should wait, right? This is still under construction. Alright, let's end the turn. Okay, cultural powers. Culture powers are powerful abilities that mark major events in the history of your nation. As you generate culture, the culture meter to the left fills. When the culture meter is full, you can select a culture power to cause a potent effect. Different culture power unlocks throughout the course of the game. Click in the area to the left labelled culture to see a menu of culture powers currently available. If this is your first playthrough, a good option is to use create a town culture power first okay all right so let's go culture because now it's saying it's ready and create town um oh here we go okay let's go there peterborough Okay, interesting. The region, uh, Liverpool region, the United Kingdom, town. So plus adjacent town. No change to wealth. City militia and Peterborough. Okay. So farming, we're still waiting on. This we're still waiting on. I thought it would be ready by now. But it's not. So we need food by the looks of it. And look at this. Food is a region. So we're, it looks like we are. Is that plus 150 or minus? Are we producing too much or too little? Okay, food is a regional need that represents the basic necessities for survival in a region. Every turn the population of a region consumes food produced there to meet or exceed the regional need for 
food. Meeting, uh, meeting a regional need. Sorry, meeting regional needs causes the population to grow. Failing that, the population may decrease. Okay. Okay. So let's come out of that then. So end turn. Right. If I select on this. Okay, so you can change the name of things, which is quite cool. Change specialization. Can't do that. Set rally point. Setting a rally point determines where new units created by this region will appear. Okay. Click that. Not that I know how that's affected. Can I do anything here yet? Not yet. Okay, let's end the turn. Basic combat. Selecting one of your armies and right-clicking on an enemy army is their mo uh, movement range will initiate combat. At the start of combat, the compact combat viewer screen will appear and show the fight. Once the battle has started, it plays out automatically without commands from the player. Since different units act, uh, type acts differently in battle, the de uh, depiction of the battle presented here can be used to see how various units in either army perform. Okay. Right. Okay, so our next thing we can do is choose a technology. So the research is completed. So food stockpile. So increases costs 22 production, but I'm guessing it's available for region level one. And if you're producing three food, um, what's this one again? Farm improvement. And what's this one? This is the plantation, isn't it? Okay. A plot of land for growing crops. Food storage. I'm going to go for... Oh, is it not allowing me? Alright. Crop one, right? Okay, do I need to choose another one? Is that what I'm doing? Oh, okay. Oh, oh, right. I suppose I'm just going to keep going through the turns and see how it plays out. Okay, food. Your people need food. Without food, they starve. And a region population um, declines. With surplus food, a region's population will grow. Okay, finally, it's given us some information now. Um, the larger the surplus, the faster growth up to a limit. As your population grows, so does your regional need for food. Build improvements like fishing boats, farms hunting camps to produce food okay so you can go back undo right so how do i build so my, my territory is expanded I didn't choose that. I would rather go this way. How do you build? Oh, well, here we go. 
choose an improvement. So we need farm, really, don't we? Invalid improvement cannot be placed here. Okay. So we've now improved that area. That's got wheat on it. I hope I'm doing this right. So left click to assign workers to forage. We got a worker there, we got a worker there, we've got no additional workers. How do we get more workers? Okay, improvements. You'll likely have enough improvement points to build an improvement. So I've done that. Select the improvement points icon. If it's your first playthrough, ah, we recommend the hunting camp. I don't have that. I went for farming. Then pick one of the marked locations within your territory to place this improvement. Improvements make a tile more productive when worked. Mouse over any improvement to see what it'll be producing. Different terrains support different type of improvement. Similarly, the improvements can only be placed in tiles with special goods. Improvements can be built by clicking on your territory and selecting improvement from the menu on the bottom right, or by clicking the construction button for your region at the top of the screen. Experiment to find your favorite. Okay. Oh. Unfortunately, I've already done that. Hunting dock is six, so we would be able to do that next. Um, I want to try that. Okay, we now have enough improvement points here. So let's go here. Hunting camp. Um, let's go here. Um, so, Forester, we're going to need that soon. We'll leave that just for a second. We've also completed a res the research, the workers. Early humans dedicated their time to tasks essential for individual survival. After farming took hold, it was possible for an individual to meet their needs of several other people. This allowed for larger groups, uh, group efforts and for workers who could labour at community projects. Okay, so we've done those two. Um... I'm going to go for scouting next, I think. We're up to 22 now. So it said get up to 30, didn't it? So we'll wait on that. Okay, we are growing. Region level 2 as well. So let's... Let's go. Okay, so we have a culture power. Um, I think Crater Town is going to be the most important. Uh, 
Um, only issue is, I don't have a valid spot at the moment. We created Peterborough. Bridgen cannot support the town. Okay. Okay. So we'll wait for a second then, shall we? See what happens next. I would like to go so it looks like we can move over here hmm. how do we expand This is a this is a section I want. How do I get it? we have enough influence to do this maybe we don't oh no we don't okay so we've got 3.71 out of 15.15 15 that we need that would increase food that would increase food and wealth okay so let's just keep going then Three point nine nine now. Okay, I'm going to go and turn. Okay, expansion. Here we go. You have enough government domain XP to make a settler. Select government on the left and select the spawn settler domain power target this on your city after you've created a settler move it to an open space outside of your borders and use the established new marshalized territory unit action your new territory starts as a, a vassal Thomas regions ruled by your nation, okay. Um, that manages itself and sends you a small tribute each month. The integration of the vassal will increase each turn when you complete and you can convert the vassal into a region. Okay. We'll go government, spawn settler. And I would quite like. Why not? Oh, I've got to select capital city. Oh, it's got to be this one, hasn't it? So that's just increased the second army. So what's what's that? Okay, so we've got warband and settlers there now. So 
still got this cultural get back maybe we'll do local reforms Okay, so that's done. Ooh, we've got something new here now. At least one nation in the game can advance to the Age of Bronze. Millennia is divided into ages. Each age offers different rules, technologies, units and buildings. The first nation to complete an age sets the course for all nations. Okay. Nerve wracking. The age of the bronze is, uh, sorry, is the only choice now, but history can branch later in the game. After you have at least three technologies researched, you can select the research meter at the top left, then click Age of Bronze to start moving to the next age. After you have at least te three technologies. Okay. Okay. And we also have Scouts now, so let's go complete. Scouting was essential to survive. Okay, that's just information. Let's go defense now. Why is that grayed out? Turn on. I think we have loads of other stuff here now as well. I'm not sure why we've got this cross. End the turn and see what happens. Okay. Your armies have probably been in a few fights by now. Units gain experience from combat and eventually gain levels of uh, veterancy. Each level of veterancy improves the unit stat. As you advance, older units will be able to upgrade more modern types using their upgrade too in the unit actions it is a good idea to upgrade your more experienced units first after a unit that has at least veteran level one it can be promoted into a leader unit with the promote to leader unit action leaders provide a large bonus to all of the units in any army Part, uh, that they are part of. For each point of tactics, your strongest leader has over an opposing army's strongest leader, your army gains a defensive plus 10% attack and defense. It is smart to have a leader in every army that you can, but leaders cannot be upgraded, so their value will diminish over time. When a leader is no longer effective, you can use their retire unit action. Dismiss the unit ex in exchange for warfare XP. Holy gosh. Okay. So we now have 30 scouts, 30 settlers. And 20 people in our army. That's the hunting cab. Discover landmarks. Alright. We now have 20 of these as well. Um... I'm going to go for forest. 
and hunting camp here. Okay, let's go next. Oh, moved us on. You have unlocked a second domain. There, uh, there are six domains. You start with the government domain and unlock the others when you earn your first XP in each. Click any domain on the left to see the domain powers currently available as you earn domain XP. You will be able to spend it on domain powers for unique results. Okay. So we have government, which we already know about. The next one is warfare. So it looks like when we get up to 25 warfare points or XP, we can get volunteers. Okay. And it now looks like um, our influence is spreading. I just turn it off. Which one is? Yeah, I like. I like to have that on. This here that shows our armies. Yes, that shows our borders. That's what's available economically, and that's left click during region of influence and expansion rate on the world map. Okay. These things, this is going to be interesting for me to learn about this. I'm going to click on it here. That's all we can find at the moment. We can't spawn any settlers just yet. We need 36 more. We might farming that's increased our food you see not again I don't think we're quite there yet on being able to band but we do now have people over here they weren't there before They are archers. Okay. Interesting. Okay. So this is the third army. Skip army. Nose for one turn. Nor this army until guard is cancelled or army is fully healed. So just skip for one turn. And skip. So we need to choose a technology. Defences is done. So we now... Last one is elder tribals. Uh, tribal elders, sorry. Okay. So end turn. Oh, so it looks like China's beat us to the age of the bronze. I think we can do about that. So third army, we're going to skip. Skip. Okay, so we now have this research completed. We're not... We're now moving to the Age of the Bronze as well in nine turns. So they got there before us, which is a bit annoying, but fine, we've got this. Um, still not quite there on Settlers. Tribal. It's 
spawns a warband in your selected outpost. Mm. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so don't need to worry about them for a minute. Again, I'm not sure if there's much we need to do. It's still under construction. Look. Let's try this. Let's switch to walls. see what happens okay so skip until next turn skip until next turn end the turn okay we've got another culture point ready so we can now raise an army create town and local reforms so i don't think we're still in a position where we can't Put that down. So let's look at raise an army. Okay, so that worked. So here, first army, third army, second army is the weakest by the looks of it, which is this one back here. So left click to sub select. We can now do hunting camp up there, that's good. All right. Age of the Bronze. In the new Age of the Bronze, new national spirit unlocked. Vassals integrated two times faster. Barbarian warlords may appear. Innovation and chaos events may appear. Trade and diplomatic envoys are available. Okay, and I suppose that would be a really good place to stop. We're at region level two and we're growing at level four. Um, it's going to be interesting to see where this goes. I'm still holding out hope that it's going to be a good game. I know it's got mixed reviews already on Steam, but let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, and until next time, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you ever so much. And bye-bye uh, for now.